Libra. So I hate that this is the first message that's going to come out, but I was getting very strongly that you're going to get some news that is not going to be good. And what I mean by that, like, I don't feel like it's like a death in the family or anything. God forbid. I don't feel like that. But I do feel like it's you're going to find out someone's fake straight up. You're going to find out someone is shady and I don't know who this person is yet. We'll get deeper into it. Um, but yeah, I was getting that message very strongly. Um, or some of you guys could have already got this clarity. But um, before I get started, I would like to thank all of my patrons who have joined. Also to everyone that has checked out my lashes at jayslashes.com. Anything you need will be down in the description bar below. The link to my uh, personal readings website, also the link to my second YouTube channel will be down below as well. Okay, so we do have the Knight of Pentacles energy here. Some of you guys could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Um, but I do feel that you're learning something where you're going to be... Um, I feel like as you get to know someone, that's what I'm trying to say. If it, as you get to know someone, I feel like you're going to learn more and more about them. And I feel like something may be shocking to you. Um, we do have the Princess of Wands here as well. So, you know, aside from love or relationships or whatever, I do feel that some of you guys may be taking action towards something new. We do have the Queen of Wands energy here. And some of you guys may be dealing with a fire sign, but I'm kind of feeling like this is your energy coming up. The Queen of Wands, this is somebody that is very active, always very busy. Maybe you guys have taken on, taken on new projects or maybe you're just working very hard um, to grow something, grow a business, um, grow your social media, grow whatever. But I do feel like you're working very hard towards that universe what is the energy or the advice is to you know start taking that action that could be advice as well if there is something that you're passionate about or something that you want to do but maybe you're just not sure if you can or if it's going to work out or if it'll be successful advice is to go ahead and do it anyway we do have the nine of wands energy here so when i think of i feel like guard um your guard may be up in a situation i do feel like if you have it's almost like if you have the feeling that you need to have your guard up with someone, but you're not sure why, I definitely feel that you're feeling that for a reason. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Libra? Okay, this is a very specific message I just got. Um, it's probably only for one of you, but um, I'm getting that you may find out that somebody has been talking to a younger woman. Um, like, very younger like, I don't want the reading to get dark like that right off the bat. But yeah, that could be a message. Hopefully that's for none of you. But I do feel like that's a just very specific message for somebody. We do have the judgment card here. Yeah, some of you guys may be um, really not sure about a situation. It could be even a new love situation. I almost feel like you're just going to find out something dark about this person. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Libra? Okay, some of you guys may have to take legal action towards somebody. So whether this is a divorce or, you know, something like that. Okay, yeah, we have the strength card here with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so some of you guys um, are maybe finally having the courage to speak up about something. Like whether this is something that maybe happened to you or, you know, something like that. I do feel like you're going to be getting a settlement. The Ace of Pentacles with the Judgment card definitely could be getting a settlement or something maybe happening in your favor. Hmm. So if you are currently dealing with a court case, know that that will go in your favor. Why is the judgment card here? Okay. Yeah, somebody. Okay, I'm getting settled out of court. Somebody wants to settle something out of court. Yeah, Hierophant, some of you guys, there could be a divorce coming up. And I do feel like the reason for this divorce is because of whatever you find out. Universe, what is the energy surrounding Libra? Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups energy here. So when I think the Seven of Cups is confusion, also it could be options as well. So I do feel like for some reason I'm getting whatever you're doing new or whatever this new um, thing is that you're pursuing, a business, a project, schooling, whatever it may be. I do feel like it's going to open up a lot of doors for you um, when it comes to career and stuff. So uh, or I'm, also, I'm also getting just... It's going to open up more options for you. So it's almost like as you make more money or as you, you know, become more independent financially or just whatever is going on here, I do feel like you're just going to have a 
it feels like a very good energy actually like maybe you're like oh i want to go buy a new house or whatever i feel like you're gonna be able to expand your price range you know have more options or even i'm um, wanting to go into other stuff so say you're into music or whatever and you want to get into acting or like something like that i just feel like something that you're doing is going to open up um, a lot of new opportunities for you what is the energy surrounding libra okay oh well what is the energy surrounding libra okay so we have the queen of pentacles energy here it could be an earth sign taurus Virgo, or capricorn and i'm kind of feeling like this is your focus right now you might just be very focused on your finances focusing on healing as well i do feel like you could be healing financially from something maybe you have um something that you are paying off maybe debt or whatever i do feel like you are coming closer to um really taking care of that some of you guys may be trying to grow grow your credit or something I, I feel like very much so you're working on your financial health why is the empress card here so of course the empress can represent pregnancy some of you guys will be finding out about that but also when i think of the empress i do feel the startup i feel like you're starting up a business or the empress can represent an idea that you've had for a long time that could be why the advice here is to um take action on whatever okay i don't like this energy we have the lover's card with the seven of swords Ooh, and the high priestess okay so when i think of these three cards together the seven of swords of course this is i mean the card says it all somebody's hiding something um could be lying to you about something uh whatever it is but i do feel you already know the high priestess she is intuition i feel like you know the high priestess doesn't talk she just knows and she knows everything so i definitely feel that whatever if you're feeling like mm, something maybe going shady something shady maybe going on with your husband or your boyfriend or your wife um your girlfriend whatever is going on i do feel like you're right so just know if you are like mm, they're not being honest with me about something know you're right about that why is the seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here okay all right yeah whatever it is i do feel okay for, i'm getting very strongly your person for those of you that are married or are in a serious relationship with someone have been with this person for a while um they they gain something by being with you and i feel like this could be um the main reason that maybe you guys are together or that you guys stay together or something like that um, it could be financially, of course, seven of pentacles, maybe they need that financial backing from you, but also I feel like you provide them financial stability, um, paired here with the four of wands. So I'm, I'm really getting, I'm getting very strong marriage energy here. I, I feel like if you are getting married or thinking about it to this person that you've, you know, maybe felt like a little weird. And of course, if you don't, if this is not your reading, do not take it because I'm definitely getting energy of somebody straight up cheating or straight up using someone. So if this is not your reading, please do not take it. But if you have been feeling sketch about your person, I, I'm definitely getting maybe reconsider if that comes up or really go slow when it comes to moving to a higher commitment because... I don't know. I'm, the Seven of Swords and this High Priestess is not sitting right with me. I'll try to get more with the Seven of Swords. Universe, why is the Seven of Swords energy here? Okay. Yeah, I don't know. I don't feel like this person, like, I don't feel like they're, like, taking advantage of you. It could be, you know, financially, but... For some reason, I feel this person, it's like they're just focused more on their selves and their ones. I feel like something, I don't know. It's almost like your guys' paths are going to split or you guys want to do different things, if that makes sense. I don't know. It feels like something is going to split you guys apart soon. And it could be a different path that you take or a different path that they take. That could be what it is. Because I'm trying to figure out what Spirit's trying to tell me here. It's almost like, okay, yeah, you guys are together. You guys have this relationship, whatever. The second they get an opportunity to move or to do something or to even be with somebody else that maybe has more money, they're going to take it. So that's that's kind of what I'm getting. I feel like this, what this person is not showing you is that they're selfish as fuck. Like, I I really feel that they're just looking out for themselves. So, yeah, that, I feel like that's the message I'm trying to get across. That this person just straight up, 
trying to get that's okay that makes that all makes sense now because in the beginning i was like you're gonna see something like a different part of this person or just see something very shocking about this person i feel like that's what it is they're like i feel like they're just gonna take the very next opportunity that comes to them that just looks better it's like somebody that's says i don't know i don't feel like they could be cheating currently they might be if you're feeling that take it but I don't know. It seems like after you marry this person or after you guys, you know, really get involved, move in together, you know, all of that, this person's just going to show a completely other fucking side of them. So I feel like biggest advice. I'm not saying, I mean, I don't, I'm not looking at the death card or the ten of swords or anything like that. So I don't feel like you don't necessarily have to leave this person right now. I don't feel like it's like that, but I do feel the advice is to move slow just in case. Like, let them reveal their full selves before you guys, you know, move forward with a relationship or marriage or moving in or whatever. So I feel like that's the message, the biggest message here. The biggest advice is just to move slow with this person if you are um, dealing with someone that you're not so sure about. So I do hope that this reading was helpful for you. If you would like a personal reading, you can visit my website at swordstarot.com. And I do hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day.